Hi, this is Ron Gannett here at beautiful Saddlebrook, Arizona Community Church. And this year, as we begin the year, we're asking ourselves, how can we pass the torch to those we love? The torch of faith. You know, if you think about it, you ask yourselves, who is it in my world that needs to understand the faith of Jesus Christ in a better way this year? Maybe they have faith, or maybe you're just not sure about that. But how can you pass the torch to them? You know, it's interesting that statistics demonstrate that 78% of people who believe in Christ are influenced by people they're related to. Think about that. Almost four out of five people are influenced by someone in their family. Another interesting statistic is that 76% of people make a commitment to Christ before the age of 20. You know, if that's the case, then my friends, that's a mandate. That means that we live in a world of family. We live in a world of young people where by God's grace, we want to help them. And yet the greatest way we can help them, I think, is by prayer. You know, in Colossians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul says, Devote yourselves to prayer and with thanksgiving and ask the God of heaven to open a door for our message and for your message. And you know, we look at our world and we say, how does God change the lives of people? He changes them in response to our prayers. Throughout our ministry, my wife and I have never been involved in the seeing someone come to the Lord where we haven't seen in their background an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a mom or a dad, a friend, someone close to them that cared about them and prayed for them. And my friends, I'm here to tell you, if you want to pass the torch, begin with that power of prayer. Years ago, I was pastoring a little church up near the Panhandle of Texas while I was in seminary, and a friend there, a guy in the church, had a burden for his brother. And periodically, he and I would play tennis or golf or try to relate to this guy, and nothing ever happened. Several years later, I was passing through the area. I dropped in to see this family, and I said, oh, how's your brother doing? He said, it's amazing. He's become a Christian. I said, what happened? He said, well, you know, I tried beating him over the head with the Bible, but that didn't work. He said, I said, God, I give up on my brother. I'm going to pray and allow you to work in his life. And sure enough, God brought into his life this beautiful little girl. And he said, well, if you want to date me, we'll have to go to church. The long and short of it all is this man fell in love with her and fell in love with her Savior as well. My friends, I'm here to tell you that the God of heaven wants people to come home more than we do, even. And he calls upon us to devote ourselves to prayer. And so as we focus on passing the torch this year to those that we love, let's begin by getting on our knees and asking God to do in their lives what only God can do.